Now today in the studio joining me two of the players who played in that 1991 uh, game. They were at the tournament. They were uh, crucial uh, uh, for Ghana in that tournament. They're two of uh, Ghana's footballers that I have, a, I have so much respect for. Yao Preko has joined me in the studio this morning and also Neil Datelante who's almost a regular here at TV3 uh, just because of how often uh, we use him for our punditry and other things. Gentlemen, you're welcome to TV3 Sports this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Me, um, let me let me start with you first of all. I mean, uh, what was the experience like for you when when you were first selected to join the Starlets? Did you think that it was going to go this far for you? Well, uh, I think uh, I was selected in 1989. So our first tournament was when we went to Scotland. That we couldn't go further, and we came back home. Right. Uh, but I mean. Uh, me being selected to be in the nation, juvenile national team was like a dream come true because I knew what I went through as a child, uh, avoiding so many things. Football is what I wanted to do. And at the end of the day, I mean, giving a call up to play for, to represent your country was like a dream come true. Yeah, yeah was that the same for you? Do, do you share in, in this story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it was it was a mom, a time that we we f when it comes to football nobody talked about the blasters because it was difficult for the blasters to qualify for the cup of nation right. so uh, concentration was on on the juvenile side and they wanted to take uh, the juvenile football to the next level and so for you to be part of uh, the um, generation the, the new generation yeah. it was it was a dream come true like 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 me said and to meet so many you know uh, players from different pa parts of the the country was was really fun and everybody wanted to be there because when we were, we were then coast players yeah before then and then when you go to the stadium to watch them train yeah. or to see them play matches you feel like uh, this is where uh, i want to the next step i want to take before i can be uh, a, a professional footballer yeah but w what did it mean for you first of all i mean getting the call up is one thing but what did it mean for you what did it mean for your football career did that provide a, a launch pad to what you were able to achieve in your in your in your career as a footballer yeah um you know uh, it was a, a, a good step right. you know a good step that um, you 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 now you can be recognized as 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 a player, you know, we're then playing for our clubs. But to represent your nation, uh, to get a call up, and when you after they come, when you go home, people, you know, you you have a tag on you as a as a as a national player. So yeah. it, it meant so much for us, you know. Being at the camp itself was 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 a, a big big deal for 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 us in terms in terms of you know hence enhancing your career yeah. and taking you to the next level right. uh, we, so we, we we really enjoyed ourselves in, in it yeah Ni, take us to what what, what camp was like uh, just paint a picture <laughs> of it of, of it for me i mean i i was i wasn't born in 91 and i, I wouldn't know you're joking <laughs> i wasn't born in 91 so i mean i just just paint a picture of what what the camp looked like i mean it was it was fun i mean i uh, let's say way back to from 1989 okay and then after that tournament, when we came back, uh, former president Rollins mm -hmm. uh, said, well, we didn't go far, but the team did very well. So we should be in camp preparing for the North tournament. So the guys were in camp. I mean, they were at Carnation Sports Complex. Yeah. But unfortunately, I was a bit lucky. Uh, after the tournament, Anderlecht came for me. Right. So I became a professional as, as soon as we finished the Scotland 89. Yeah. Uh, but it was fun. I, re I remember I met them in Italy, uh, Montecatini. Yes. And I mean, and we were having fun. These guys were. Uh, you can talk about everything that we want to to have, and these mm -hmm. guys were aiming for something. Yeah. Uh, so that passion and the love that we had at that time is still there. Right. I mean, we are still have the same platform. We talk to each other. We are mm -hmm. all around. So I mean, it was a, it was a great feeling. Mm -hmm. It was a great feeling to be in camp with these guys. Right. Yeah, I've I've heard you talk on on many platforms about the sort of impact that uh, the coach then Otto Fister had on your career. What was what was he like? What, what, what kind of person was Papa he? Papa was like a, a father to us. You call him Papa? Yeah, yeah. we call him Papa. Mm -hmm. he, he was so fun to be around. You know, uh, he wasn't putting pressure on 
The only person who suffered was Kojo Fiano. Every time we win a match, you slap Kojo Fiano. Uh, you slap Mr. Fiano. <laughs> yeah. Every match, when, they, when, when we win and he's, they, they, we're yeah, celebrating, we he's yeah. going to embrace Kojo Fiano. He, he go out with a, with a slap. Right. So it was fun having him around, and uh, Franny was his assistant. Mm. May he rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, so it was easy for us to express ourselves. Right. He was not restricting us mm -hmm. in, in terms of system for us to just go in there and, ha and have fun yeah. because we were it was a squad that um majority of us played in, the, in scotland 89 right so I, let me say 90 percent of the squad uh, yeah. we played in scotland so we knew each other okay. so he didn't struggle and and before then that Lante, Isaac Casari and I, we were the only prof three professionals in the squad. Mm -hmm. So we, we brought, we injected in something new. And when we came, when we arrived in the camp, the yeah. boys saw confidence. We, we, were, we, we brought some professionalism yeah. into them. And Otto allowed us to do our own thing because right. when he came, we were already flowing. Yeah. So all he needed is to just make sure we gel with the new ones. and. And then uh, let it go. All right. Yeah, I'll also stay with you. Now, the group stage had Spain, Uruguay, and Cuba in, in, in the group stage. Then, then, then we progressed. Now, of, 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 these group, of, the, of these group games, you know, I, I, I read that we finished with five points. How, was the, how were the games like, you know, coming in and, and knowing that you had to qualify to the next stage and then taking it one game at, at that time? Yeah, like you said, we took it one game after the other. Yeah. I remember we drew Spain. We drew Spain on the match against the Euro against Uruguay was very tough, tough yeah. one. because they were kicking. <laughs> and yeah, trust me, a we thought we opponent. yes, right. we thought we, we 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 like kicking in Africa, mm -hmm. but the Uruguayans they will hey, frustrate you, they will frustrate <laughs> you, tackling from behind and uh, yeah. yeah I, I remember it was like a, a butchering, you know, from the whistle go to the end. Mm -hmm. Every 50-50 they come in, yeah. but we took it game after we knew. If, no matter how difficult it, it is, we have we we had players to 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 come to the party, yeah. and, and so we were not stressed even when when we are struggling to find our feet. Mm -hmm. But we took it game after game, and yeah. you know we are coming from Africa. Yeah. Nobody thought uh, a, a country like Ghana will go will, will be among the favorites right. because in a, a pre two years before. We were we, we were out in the in mm -hmm. the first yeah. the first uh, first round of the of the campaign. So everybody thought okay they are they are just in to participate and and, and go home. Yeah. But like we said, we took it game after game, and then uh, we got to the. Ni, 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 which game was the most difficult game for for, for you or, or for the squad? Well, I think well Uruguay was tough, tough mm -hmm. but I was surprised we drew against the. Uh, our last game yeah. against uh, is it Qatar? Yes. Yeah, yeah we drew two two, and yeah. we have to go to penalties. Penalties, right? yeah. That's yeah. the that's the I semi finals. Mean, I was, I was yeah. shocked yes. mm. because, well, as he said, we were not thinking. I mean, but were you a bit complacent during that game? Complacent? Let me say no. Okay. But then I think uh, we were surprised the way they came after mm. us. Okay. You know, so it was a difficult game. But when we, we were able to go through the penalties. We knew our next game was going to be an easiest one. You, you, you scored four goals yeah. at the tournament. You you ended up with a golden ball. Your name was everywhere. It, you know, it, it, the, the under seventeen tournament must mean a lot to you, just because of how it puts your your name on the global stage. Yeah, that's true. I mean, though I was a professional at that time playing for Anderlecht, but uh, let me say that coming back in nineteen ninety one. Uh, I think I had about four man of the match. Mm -hmm. I won uh, this mm -hmm. GVC trophy. Yeah. Uh, I still have them. Yeah. And then uh, be selected as the best player of the tournament. Mm -hmm. Yes. Give me another. Uh, uh, put me in a, another. Uh, put you in a different light. That's it. Yeah. So after that tournament, yes, uh, my name was all over. And then I had a lot of big clubs coming uh, to, to, to fight for my contract. But then. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me say, there's no way I'll forget this tournament. Yeah. I mean, this tournament was uh, a tournament that, as I said, I went through as a child, mm -hmm. sacrificed to play football, mm -hmm. uh, avoiding to go to school. Education was a problem. But then, uh, at the end of the day, here am I. I mean, chosen as a best player of the tournament in the midst of all these stars. I think Veron was there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a tough big stars there. Yeah. So it's like, 
all the sacrifice that I, I did as a child, I'm mm -hmm. paid back. So exactly. I was so very, very privileged. Yeah, the final was against, uh, uh, you know, the final was, it was a really tough game. And when we're showing SFs of the final as well, I mean, you had so many memories from yeah. it. And especially when the goal went in, I mean, I, I saw that you were, you were cracking a laughter with, with, with me as well. Just take us through the final. How difficult was it? And when the final whistle went, on what side of the pitch were you at the time, if you, could, if you can remember? I think um, I went off, I went off 10 minutes before, before the goal. 10 minutes mm -hmm. before. So um, I think the injury time, the injury time or extra time or, 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 or whatever we call it. Uh, yeah. We were all waiting for the, for the whistle to go because yeah. we, the, we saw we were already in control of the game. Right. We were in control. The latter part of the game, they had a couple of chances, but mm -hmm. they didn't threat that. You mm -hmm. know, you saw we had control there. So we were just waiting for the whistle to just go. Yeah. And I think so if you go to YouTube, you can see some foot, uh, footage about, about how we were celebrating <laughs> our circle four and everybody <laughs> were all <laughs> jumping around. And exactly. Because to win a World Cup, to be frank, when we played against um, um, uh, Brazil, mm -hmm. Brazil the, was, was a, a oh, quarter oh, finals. Yeah. Yes. It was the finals before. Even the FIFA president uh, uh, then, yeah. uh, Blatter said, "This is the finals before the, the final." Yeah. Because everybody, Brazil, they were they were killing everybody yeah. in their group. Yeah. Well, so yeah. when we met them, everybody thought this game. Uh, uh, we, they were expecting FIFA wanted this match to be the finals, yeah. but football has its own. Uh, so exactly. beating Brazil two one, mm -hmm. you know, we went up and then they equalized. Mm -hmm. And then Gago, you know, that Gago Caesar kick. Exactly. For us to beat Brazil. So when we played against Qatar, mm -hmm. it took a lot out of us. Yeah. Because they were big. Yeah. yeah. They were big and energetic team. So they didn't allow us to play our game. Yeah. So after we went through, we went through the penalties. Uh, meeting Spain, we had so much confidence because we had al already played them in the, in, uh, in the, the group stage. Yeah. So... Match. It, it, it was a game that we know we could beat them, but we need to work harder. Most so we, but so there's one thing that I think uh, mm -hmm. Russia has forgotten. Yeah. Against Brazil, mm -hmm. remember, we packed our luggage, everything was yes. packed. That as soon as you lose, you are going home. That's how it's done. Yeah, when <laughs> and we did not stages. want to go home. Yes. <laughs> you know, so it was do and die affair. Okay. So okay. our luggage was packed and everything. Yeah. And so after we beat Brazil, Brazil. when we came, everybody was throwing his Yes, 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 yes. So yes. we knew we were yes. not going back. Home exactly. again. And then one thing like in the finals that we were also lucky to had uh, somebody like uh, uh, Utofista. You know, the first match we played against them, yeah. they are also skillful as we yeah. are. Yeah. But there's one thing he told us that we can use against them is the physical. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we were using that one mm -hmm. as a extra something okay. against the Spanish. They had one, yeah. uh, one attacker, I, I confirm. Yes. <laughs> when we remember that, that guy, we nearly kill him. Yes. Yeah. Also, well, so many memories <laughs> in the studio this morning. But, um, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure hosting, <laughs> hosting um, the, the two of you. Really great players for Ghana. We thank you for everything you've done for Ghana for Boni. Thank you so much, Yao. Thank you so much for, for coming as well. And, I mean, this is the 29th anniversary of that Starlet's 1991 World Cup win. It was a team of so many stars, Samuel Oseku for Neo Datelante, who is here, also Yao Perko, Mohamed Gago, there was Imano Dia, there was Isaac Asai, Danielado Ali Jara, I mean, many, many stars uh, from that Starless 91 team who have done so much for Ghana. Hopefully, in the next year, when they turn 30, we'll do uh, an incredible documentary on, on their lives and also how they went on to win the trophy. My name is Yao Ofosulabi, and that